A very good afternoon to everyone present over here, respected HOD, all the teachers and my dear lovely friends. Today on the behalf of Project Come presentation, uh, I am here with my topic uh, Phytochemical Investigation and Antioxidant Properties of Floriganthus trichiflora sneeze. My name is Bhagavan Nanda Das, uh, I am a student of 6th semester and I have done this project under the supervision of Dr. Dulal Chandra Borua, sir and I am very much thankful to him because of him, we, me and my team had able to complete this project. So, uh, as you all, all know, medicinal plants play a very important role in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, in today's world, we can't even imagine our life without medicinal plants. Uh, we are dependent on the medicines that are being created by the medicinal plants, but there are many more people, many more traditional peoples in the village areas who are completely dependent directly on the medicinal plants. For example, there are people uh, who use the leaves of the plant to, uh, to cure their wounds. And there are many more such examples in the village areas there. Uh, one, of the, one of such plant is the Floriganthus trichiflora sneeze, whose local name is Bahectita. Uh, it is interesting that there is not more studies that has been done in this plant. That's why I have selected this plant for the study. Let me just begin. Uh, Floriganthus trichiflora sneeze uh, is found in the subtropical Himalayan region at an altitude of about 4000 feet. It is also found in the upper Gangetic plain Bihar, North Bengal and in the entire northeastern region of India. And it is distributed in almost all the districts of Assam. That's why this plant becomes very much important to us because the plant is distributed in all over Assam. Uh, Floriganthus trichiflora sneeze is classified as Phylum tracheophyta, class Magnoliopsida, Order Lemiales, Family Acanthaceae, uh, Genus Floriganthus, Species Trichiflora. Now, as if we see this study as a movie, then we have a villain in this movie. The villain of the movie is the free radicals. Free radicals are unpaired electrons that are present within in our body, uh, within our body that reacts with, with the biomolecules bio and it causes diseases. Overproduction of these free radicals can cause uh, oxidative stress that may lead to several diseases as you can see here like cancer, vision loss, heart disease and many more. Now the medicinal plants has a property called the antioxidantal property. That property helps us to, cure, to fight with these free radicals. The antioxidant. Antioxidants are those that reduce less, slows down the effect of free radicals. As you can see. This is a free radical that caused an unpaired electron and this is our antioxidant. Uh, the antioxidant donates or accepts an electron uh, which reduces or neutralizes the effect of free radicals. Another property is the polyphenols. Polyphenols have been found to be strong antioxidant that can neutralize free radicals. Polyphenols are secondary metabolites the, that plants produce to protect themselves from other organisms. Uh, if uh, the medicinal plants benefits us in such a way that uh, that con the medicinal plants con contains the contains the polyphenols which help us uh, to fight with these free radicals in this study uh, we have taken phenolic acid flavonoids and tannins as the polyphenols the main objective of this study is uh, screening of the phytochemicals constituent of the plant floriganthus trichiflora sneeze specifically polyphenol content flavonoid content and the total tannin content Evaluation and also the evaluation uh, of in vitro antioxidant potential of the plant Floriganthus trichiflora sneeze through DPPH uh, and FRAP assay. This is the material and methods that uh, me and my team had used. At first, fresh leaves of Floriganthus trichiflora has been collected. They were shed dried and then properly grinded to prepare the powder. And then we have made a filtrate of it and simply micro prepared it in different concentrations. Uh, uh, after micro preparing in different concentration, as you can see here, uh, the increasing order of the concentration is clearly shown in the test tubes. Then we have taken the spectrophotometry to calculate the absorbance at different wavelengths. Uh, these are the methods that we have used. Uh, at, at first, for the test of phenols, total phenolic content, we have used the Pauling CoCl2 method, and we have also used a standard for catechin, as a uh, standard as catechin. Total flavor, for total flavonoid content, we have used aluminum chloride spectrophotometric assay and quercetin as standard. 
for total tannin content pollen csl2 method as uh, was again used and catechin was taken as standard uh, for total phenolic content uh, the pollen csl2 method possesses an fc reagent that fc reagent uh, has molybdenum which gets reduced uh, when uh, it reacts with the phenolic acid as our um, plant sample possesses the phenolic acid that's why the molybdenum gets reduced this is the reaction that occurs here and as we increase the concentration the color becomes darkest dark blue and which indicates the presence of the phenolic acid in the uh, sam in our sample now for total flavonoid content uh, the capacity of the flavonoid acts as antioxidant depends upon it. In a, this is the same way where uh, our sample uh, gets under a reaction with sodium nitrate aluminum chloride and sodium hydroxide and the, it forms the orange color as we increase the concentration of flavonoids uh, as our plant sample possesses the flavonoid that's why uh, as we increase the concentration uh, the color has been shown here now for antioxidant activity we have done the dpph and the fab assay uh, now dpph uh, creates a stable free radical uh, which is uh, uh, dark purple in color as um, it creates the stable free radicals and our plant sample that our plant sample uh, reduces the effects of the free radicals so when this dpph uh, reacts with the with our plant sample and the free radicals get neutralized and the color uh, from dark purple uh, turns to a light yellowish this is the reaction that occurs here and for frap assay uh, the color becomes uh, the, the color uh, is convert from colorless to intense blue this is the reaction that occurs here there is a little difference in the frap assay uh, our plant sample uh, converts the fe3 plus ion to fe2 plus ion this is the reaction that we have got in our observation for example in the dpph the, this is the uh, this is the uh, increasing order of our plant sample concentration as you can see the dpph uh, here uh, with the minimum with the minimal concentration uh, it has the purple color and when we have we increase the concentration at the maximum level it turns to yellowish and in the frap assay it turns to bluish this is the formula to calculate the percentage of dpph and percentage activity of frap now the absorbance for dpph uh, was measured at 17 nanometer and the absorbance of frap assay was measured at by 700 nanometer these are the data that we have got in our study uh, for total phenolic content our plant sample has 55 mg standard equivalent per gram of extract uh, for total flavonoid content we have got 55.1 mg standard equivalent per gram of extract and for total tannin content we have got 55.3 uh, and these are the results of the standard that we have measured uh, in the in our study these are the graphs that we have uh, uh, calculated or uh, when we when we have taken the absorbance so is, as you can see the as the concentration of the um, sample increases the graph uh, absorbance datas are increased in a linear manner and these are the bar graphs of the amount of uh, phenols flavonoids and tannins in our plant sample for for antioxidant property we have calculated the ic50 value the ic50 value is something uh, when uh, as the dpph molecule, dpph creates stable free radicals uh, at the time when 50 percent uh, at the, at the at the concentration where the 50 percent of the stable free radicals are got neutralized is known as the ic50 value now our plant sample has an ic50 value of 37.64 microgram per ml and uh, 20.31 microgram per ml uh, for frap and these are the standard that we have used in the dpph and frap assay prolox and ascorbic acid were, were used as a standard these are the graphs of dpph and frap assay uh, the percentage and concentration graph is there and we have also shown the comparative analysis of the bar graph of an standard and our plant sample finally the conclusion of this study is the antioxidant activity of the selected species floricandus trigiflorus demonstrated that its crude extract possesses potential antioxidant and free radical scavenging activities through multiple mechanisms floricandus trigiflorus leaves have secondary metabolites such as flavonoids phenols tannins the scavenging activities of the plant is also due to the presence of these secondary metabolites. Therefore, 
the species Phlogogonthus trigeflorus could play a vital role in the beneficial effects of human health as a medicinal plant. These are the references we have used in the whole study. Finally, I would like to introduce you to my team members and I am very much thankful to Mr. Deepak Rava for mentoring us in such a way so, so that we can we have able to complete this project and obviously I would like to thank um, Dr. Dulal Chandra Barwa sir for helping us throughout. With this, I would like to end my presentation. Thank you.